Hi guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 4th, 2020. I hope you are all doing great out there. I know we are adjusting to our new way of life and trying to figure out what that looks like and we are going to talk about that because that is a big part of the message for this week. I do want to start off again, I believe I said this last week, but I'll say it again. If you are going to get a personal reading with me, please know that they are very, very deep. These are not, um, we're, we're, we're going into a different kind of dimensional energy, if that makes sense. So we are going to look very deeply at what is going on in your world, how your energy fits in with the way the world is going, right? And um, what you might, so it's not fortune telling, like telling you your future, but rather assessing your energy maybe what your lessons are right now that's a big one that comes up often and then helping you giving you support so that you can acclimate to where the world is heading i hope that makes sense hopefully i'm saying that <laughs> in a way that translates all right so let's get into this week's uh sorry so angelsouls444.com if you would like to get a personal reading with me so now the the message for this week we're realizing there's going to be a lot of, uh, some of you might be experiencing old memories, things coming up to the surface that are a little painful. I was just having this, the past few days this has been going on, where just all of a sudden these old memories are popping up. And I remembered my old biology lab partner <laughs> from 10th grade who one time really, you know, really disappointed me because he was like this popular jock, good looking guy. We were lab partners. I was like the nerdy schoolgirl, whatever, wallflower. And I always had my guard up with him. And then when I started to let my guard down one day, he had some stuff, I guess, going on in his life. And he took it out on me one day. And I remember, I was just remembering this and remembering how devastating that was. Because I thought, oh, okay, well, things aren't always what they seem. This is great. I started to let my guard down and he kind of went in. <laughs> it's a long story, but just to give you an example, like that's the sort of thing that's been coming up. And I think that will be coming up here in May for a lot of people. And it's not just May, it'll be going on for a while. So be ready for that. Whatever you need to do for self-care, make sure you are doing it and don't try to dismiss it. Definitely don't do this thing where you're talking to yourself in a negative way. Like, oh my gosh, I am crazy for even thinking of that right now oh my gosh, I'm crazy for that still bothering me. Because that's something that society will tell you. You're not supposed to feel what you feel, right? Um, you, you, you know, the past is the past. And I agree with that. But this is, they're giving us this message that we can tuck it away. But if it comes up, make sure you sit with it and ask yourself some deep questions. You know, why does this still bother me? What does this represent to me? To me, that memory I just gave you, that represented a betrayal. Again, there's a lot more to it, but it represented a betrayal and um, feeling like I had gotten duped <laughs> into thinking that this person was going to be a kind person. And then turns out for, for just like a little bit of time, he didn't end up like being horrible forever, but <laughs> there was just a moment where something happened and I wasn't, I didn't see it coming, right? So let yourself process those kinds of memories, okay? We're also talking about realizing the contrast. And when we say waking up, we say that a lot. And what that means is you suddenly wake up and you realize, oh my gosh, like there were so many signs of abuse around me when I was younger, I never saw it. Or maybe you're a teacher and you are starting to wake up and go, wow, I didn't realize that that could be a sign of abuse. You know, a child who's just kind of disassociating and staring off into space. That's not somebody who's just daydreaming necessarily. I used to do that all the time. Just kind of stare off and just, I would just try to get away from the kids for a little bit at recess and just kind of, you know, that is somebody who's trying to check out of life, okay? And that is a child that potentially is being abused. So again, you know, I know there are, there's uh, lots of experts out there and lots of studies on that. And if that is something that you want to get better at spotting, I would highly encourage you to go look up an association. Uh, there are, you know, there's actually, I don't know what the website is off the top of my head, honestly, but I just ran across it. And they even have online training, what to look for as far as human trafficking goes. 
because that's happening all around us. This is a big one, guys. The human trafficking, that's going to be coming up. We're going to start realizing a lot of stuff. And we're going to realize that we can't look away anymore just because it makes us uncomfortable, right? The people who are going through it can't look away. And we need to get in there and help in any way that we can without, again, that has to, it's a touchy thing and it has to be done with care. You can't just jump in there and be like, hey, I know that this is happening. Um, go, go through the authorities and go through organizations that have people who are trained to help in these areas, okay? So there's that. Um, but again, let's go back to this idea. Sorry, I have a bracelet on <laughs> and it's clicking on. <laughs> It's such a good bracelet, I wanted to wear it. Um, put it on top of my cards here. It's clanking up on my jacket here. So anyway, well, we're gonna start realizing like, oh my gosh, so many things went overlooked. And I, I wanna offer to, if you are a well-adjusted person, <laughs> and when I say well-adjusted, I mean your empathy hasn't been shut off, okay? So you're not a sociopath, you're not some uh, shade of narcissist or something like that. Narcissists don't have their empathy completely shut off as is my understanding, but you're not a psychopath, you're not any of those things, you are not probably going to look at this and go, oh my God, I feel so guilty. It might be shocking and it might be like, whoa, okay, I get it. I get it. And understanding that this is just the natural step in our evolution where we get sharper vision. And it's not about being mystic. It's not about seeming interesting, right? It's us as a humanity waking up and going, oh, whoa, okay. So there are human beings out there, children out there that are getting treated horribly. Okay, got it. I'm looking. And there are going to be people who've already been in this line of work for the longest, right? And as I said before, they're going to be able to come forward and teach us how to handle this and how to spot it. So that's important. Then we have our own coping. This is a chance for a fresh start. Um, first of all, <laughs> I love all of you that have been coming to me for personal readings. Thank you so much for your support. I know you have you know, lots of places that you go for a personal reading, and I always find it you know, to be an honor to be able to read for you. Uh, and I think it's really interesting, the change in the dynamic as people come. Because every time you, you work with me, I'm learning a whole lot of stuff too. And I can't thank you guys enough, each and every one of you you've helped me get to where I am right now and uh, to become the person that I am and I'm learning with you. So thank you for that and my love to you. Uh, but when people come and they're asking these questions, I started to realize when they're asking, you know, what's my purpose? There's like a deeper question there maybe with some people of what is my self-worth? What is my self-worth? And I started realizing I do that too. Again, we're all in this together, right? I've been asked some other questions too, where the focus, it's so clear that people are starting to shift. Their priorities are shifting. Um, they're getting deep in their thinking. Now it's not just so much, um, you know, I'm getting questions like, how can I be a better parent to my children? I'm not an expert in parenting, but I could, we can look at your energy and we can bring up um, some things that might be very triggering and what have you, right? So little things like that, but I'm just noticing a very different type of question getting asked. And uh, I want, I'm sharing that here. I wanted to share that with y'all because <laughs> I want to share that with y'all because, you know, I, I think that gives a little bit of uh, an example of how we might be changing now, right? So more awareness around who is being harmed, what is actually going on there and realizing once we get through that wall of discomfort, whether it's with our own memories or something that comes out and we discover things are getting unearthed, we're seeing the secrets now. Um, there was a huge secret that got <laughs> revealed. What was it last week? Nobody said anything. I'm not even going to bring it up here. I just want to see if you can figure it out. <laughs> Cause I sit there and I was like, looking around, I'm like, oh, nothing. Okay. Well, I guess we'll all hang out and see what happens next. I don't know. <laughs> Weird. But, um, but yeah, that's really what this coming time is all about. Now they are giving us the message here to not, your sense of security is not going to be based on what it was based on before. Okay. I had to adjust my light. I did it again, guys. I do it. I, I wish I had a crew because I always, I, I got up to go do something to I was adjusting the camera and I moved my light and I didn't move it back. So we're in half shadow or I was <laughs> whatever. Here we are. So what I was saying is our sense of stability, the things that we've always been brainwashed to think 
you know, the, the way you do life right is you get married, right? You have kids, which now we're going to discover is dangerous because there are people out there who thought that that's doing life right and they went ahead, went ahead and had kids and they <laughs> didn't want them, okay? And I maybe don't, you know, there are people out there who don't care about their kids. Is that hard to hear? I imagine so. We're going to have to start opening our eyes to some truths and not worrying so much about how we look because that's, that's a virus in and of itself. People are so worried about how they appear to others. And so we have this societal thing of, oh, well, I'm just always going to look like I'm really fair and I'm, you know, I'm going to play devil's advocate. The world's not going to support you anymore. It's not. You cannot be an enabler to bad behavior done okay and stop overlooking the people who are going through things and immediately going to the perpetrator and going oh well what about their story yes the perpetrator has a story as well it's probably a very similar story to their victim they go one way the victim goes another however we keep toppling over the people that this is happening to and I get it. it was like, I think we're trying to find, we're trying to like stop the bleeding, so to speak. So we go right to why do the perpetrators do what they do? And I'm not, again, I'm not saying that that's not important. That's absolutely important. But let's make sure people are getting the care that they need and deserve. Okay. Back to the sense of stability. So when we get trained that you get a nine to five job, you climb the ladder, you get your, you know, you know how it goes. We all get brainwashed to think that that is how to live. So much so that people will be degrading to anyone who lives outside of that if you're a freelancer and you have 1099 income you know it's really hard to buy a house you basically have to have full-on cash to lay down for a house um, if you are single people are going to assume there's something wrong with you i've seen it you know i've seen where people are like i got to get married why well because it's uncomfortable why is it uncomfortable well everyone thinks that there's you know something wrong with me because i'm not with somebody right now Ooh, you know, maybe there's something really good about you because I, I know I vowed, you know, I'm going to work on all my stuff before I get into a serious relationship because I'm not playing this game, <laughs> right? I'm not just going to get with someone uh, before I work on my own patterns. And, you know, and now we're in a time where a lot of toxicity is coming up and it's just, you know, social distancing is not good for dating, right? <laughs> but what we're doing now is we're seeing... We don't need to do things the way that we thought we had to. Okay, maybe when you've been at home, just I'm gonna throw out some surface level examples here. Maybe since you've been home, you realize, oh, I can run an online business or I can work 50% of the time. Maybe you love your job, that's awesome if you do. Um, maybe I can work 50% of the time from home. Maybe you've had a chance to reconnect with your kids and go, Okay, you know what? Parenting is very overwhelming. Maybe there are some dark things that have happened with people. And I don't know if those people are going to have any awareness around getting help. I don't know. Um, but again, we have authorities out there who are being contacted about these things and they're having to go in and they have their system in place for how to handle that. And, you know, we're just going to have to see what what we're being called to do as we go along so this could be a big shift in how you live i know it's going to be a big shift in how you live some of you may decide you want to be single some people who are single might go okay i'm ready to open my heart i'm ready to, you know what i'm saying like so this whole idea of stability is going to start changing you're going to realize i'm going to explore the opposite <laughs> maybe or um, i see where i need to tweak places in my life you know uh, some of you may have gotten into a space of questioning what your passions are. What is it that I really want to put my energy behind? What really matters? And if I'm going after something just for uh, the accolades, what does that feed in you? I had, you know, as I was discovering all those, uh, all those old memories were popping up, I was like, holy cow, I, I, I've lived my whole life trying to prove myself trying to prove my worth and that's ridiculous. I'm going to take that pressure off myself to please other people and I'm going to see where I can be of the most peaceful, loving, compassionate 
uh, service to others? Like, what can I do in this world to help it be a better place? And I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> I don't know. But it, I kind of came to that realization where I'm like, I'm putting my energy into the wrong stuff. So I want to offer that as an example in case you can relate to that. Um, and maybe this can spark some understanding. So please don't think that you have to put pressure on yourself right now to figure everything out, okay? Because that's not going to work and you're going to end up exhausting yourself. Does that make sense? And you are redefining your very existence. You are not the same cellular being, okay, that you once were. And we collectively are not the same beings as the people who were here in the 80s and the 70s and the 60s and what what yeah yeah you're completely different you're completely different and our world is completely different and there are things that are coming about that somehow somewhere we agreed to be a part of right? <laughs> and we are going to have to adjust and roll with whatever is coming in and there's a message here too, to know when to stand up and to know when standing up and being too impulsive actually harms what you're trying to do. It actually goes against what you're trying to do, okay? The example I gave is if you see, you know, something that you suspect, God forbid, is human trafficking, for example, and you go and you approach the person, the adult, maybe in the situation, or maybe it is an adult that they're trafficking, but you know, still you go and whoever you suspect is the perpetrator, you go running up to them, that could be disastrous. That could be disastrous. But maybe you play it cool, you're paying attention to the car, maybe you memorize the license plate, you get with the authorities, you say, hey, I kind of, I don't know how the, if you're somebody who's in law enforcement, comment down below, give us some tips on what we should do as we start waking up and we realize how people are, are you know, our brothers and sisters out there are being victimized. What should we do as you know a community? What are the right steps? Okay, so I would imagine it would be, you know, calling the authorities uh, or something like that and saying I just suspect this or what have you, and let them take it from there. So we're really learning to gauge our reactions and our responses. One of the other things that we can let go of is this idea, I wanna be careful in saying this because I don't wanna diminish people who are doing good work, but there is a lot of this mentality out there that if you feel a human emotion, if you get upset about something that you're somehow a bad person, that's not true, okay? That is not true. The idea is to not allow yourself to live in that emotion if it's a low frequency. Conversely, you're not always gonna be in the light so to speak. Your whole existence as a human being is right here in the center, a beautiful blending of all frequencies, right? Because when there's light, it tempers the darkness. Now you don't have pure evil. And the light, you know, if you go into pure light, then you don't need to be here anymore. You feel me? So we're learning and understanding how to not try to be perfect about everything, to ease up on your routines, that's that's a big, if I could say, opportunity with all of the stuff that's been going on is that it has broken our sense of self. It has broken our sense of uh, what we think we have to accept, what we have to take. And now, yeah, there's pieces everywhere. And we've been trained to think that if things are in pieces, that's bad. That's not true. We're in the demolition stage we're in the clearing stage and we have to we can't just move on to the next thing without looking at what are things now as they are how did we get to this place and then cleaning this up so that's the processing part and then being open being open and having that peace and that love in your heart when you are putting that kind of now i said you know you could be upset that's okay but process it why is this so upsetting to me? Well, I feel like that person crossed a boundary with me and didn't treat me like, treat me with respect. Okay, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like you keep going with that. Like where, where do you feel? Why is it such a big deal that your boundaries not be crossed? When have your boundaries been crossed in the past? Uh, you know, and, and moving through like that. 
from there, we are still going to, um, yeah, I don't know how we'll, I don't know how this is going to play out exactly. So this is a, a few years in the making, but we're going to have this big division. Remember I said, and I have been saying that toxicity is coming up to the surface. We're seeing people being extra, <laughs> extra whatever, extra floating on a cloud. Nothing's wrong. I'm perfect. I know all about consciousness. I know everything. And then people over here are going, I'm just going to attack. I'm just going to be hateful. And I'm just going to do whatever I can to make people feel bad because that somehow makes me feel good, which it doesn't. They don't, you know, they're just feeding, right? So when we have this contrast, we're, a lot of people I think are going to try to come in the middle and have that blending, right? That's very Archangel Sandalfin kind of energy. And Arch Archangel Sandalfin can help you with that uh, to balance the spiritual with the physical, being grounded, um, being, being in tune with your own beat, and sort of the heartbeat of everybody else. And then we all start getting into sync with one another. But there will be portions of the population that just don't want to go there. And as I said, you know, we're going to see more and more. They're going to become more and more obvious. And if anything, we're going to wake up and go, whoa, that kind, those kind of people were walking amongst us. That was my neighbor who did all of that this whole time had this, this, and this going on in their house. Whoa, that person that I always looked up to is doing what now? So we're going to be able to process this. We're going to realize that the stuff that we hold importance on, or we, we look at it as being important, all the pedestals are shattering. Everyone's coming down. Everyone's on equal playing ground. And then we're going to see who starts snarling, who's going to start really reacting because they know the world that they thought they owned is crumbling. Their facade is going away and they're losing their power. Please remember this because it can get scary and it can get kind of like, ugh, you know, but we'll get through it. All right. So let's get some cards. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the decks right here's the card on the bottom God so we're going to take this one yes there's a re-establishing of what the earth was always meant to be this is not going to happen overnight guys all right so we have to give ourselves some time to do the adjustments to do some understanding but this God card means that the divine is with us God source creator is helping us remember and helping us giving us all the tools that we need to help ourselves, all right, to help us get to our empowerment. So there's that. Now I will shuffle. I have this camera angle where you can't see me shuffling. Well, I am, okay? <laughs> and it's really, really hot here today, but I'm wearing this little jacket to hide my farmer's tan. Y'all do that. Do y'all do that like the first, because you have been kind of going out with your t-shirt on and like the sun's not that intense. And then like the first warm day, Got a, I got a little bit of sun on my chest and I have to hide my farmer's tan. <laughs> All right. Do not fight the system for the system will no longer be. So don't waste your energy. All right. Next card, transformation. <laughs> This is where we're at. And this is very positive for those of us who have been waiting um, and, and we've seen uh, the harm in the world. We've seen what's been going on. And now we are transforming. This is happening, but we are supported. All right. So no worries there. Divine order. This, I remember when I would do personal, I'm talking about personal readings a lot. Sorry. <laughs> I swear, I'm not trying to do a marketing thing, <laughs> just, it, but it's true. You know, people would, when I would use this deck for personal readings and people would be like, I don't want to hear this thing anymore. Don't tell me it's all in divine timing and divine order. Don't tell me that. Ooh, if you start going down that road, your ego is out of control and you need to do something about that. You need to get that in check because <laughs> God is in charge here. God is in charge. All right. Type amen down below. Divine order. God has this, all right? I think I did a video, what was it, back in the end of December? I think it was a week later. It says, help is on the way. 
I have to go back and rewatch some of those videos because I remember having that feeling of there are, there, there are beings that are here and they're around us and they're helping us and that, you know, again, God is in charge. So there's going to be a major shift here, a major transformation, and it's, it's the light. It's the light coming to help us. All right. And then we have St. Sinner. So here's the conflict that we're going to have within us. Don't you already feel conflicted? It's like, oh, it's a big deal. This whole thing that's going on, it's a big deal. Oh, it's not a big deal. Oh, this is a conspiracy theory for this, this, and this. Or, you know what I mean? It's like all over the place. And <laughs> we could feel like we're doing it right, we're doing it wrong. We're doing it right, we're doing it wrong. And now we're having a chance because of this to get balanced, to get centered within us. These are powerful cards, guys. A very, very powerful message. I'm going to pull one more. i got to pull off the top here. Revelation. Yeah, that's the waking up. And it's not, you know, people are like, oh, I'm just waking up spiritually. It's not that. It, I mean, it is that, but <laughs> it's not just that. It's not just the individual waking up their heart, which is incredibly important, but, and waking up your empathy and your compassion. But this is the whole earth. The whole earth, the sun is coming up now and it's all going to make sense. It's all going to make sense. Now, this is not to be ego satisfying and satisfy the intellect necessarily, this is, um, it's going to be a very calm, kind of peaceful, like you already knew. You already knew. It's like the game gets shut off. And then you kind of shake it off and maybe blink a few times and go, oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm going to pull one more. <laughs> Didn't we get this last week? We are having a revelation about what the mythic reality is. That old world is crumbling down. And again, there are going to be people that start panicking over that because that's all they know that's what they're used to right all right so i'm gonna get a color card here as well if i could pick the cards up <laughs> all right <laughs> i want to take this time to to thank everybody who reached out to me and offered to send me masks um, some people have made me masks and they're on their way i now have plenty of them <laughs> cloth masks to wear thank you guys so much um, from the bottom of my heart that was, I was very touched by people being concerned that I wouldn't have what I needed. And I just adore you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that very, very much. All right. So the color card for this week is chocolate. Nourish your body and soul. The number is 13. Reduces to four, but 13, uh, you guys know, that's part of what's crumbling. So um, take care of yourselves. Don't feel like you have to spring into action necessarily. Sometimes you're doing more harm than good by doing so. Uh, and this is saying, keep your energy in that good place. Again, come on, glare. There we go. <laughs> Again, you know, you might start getting scared and want to run back the other way. Be honest and true in your emotions. No denial here. But have an understanding. Don't fall into the fear and don't fall into the foggy thinking of, oh, no, um, you're all in danger. You better come this way or, you know, uh, don't give in to that. Nourish your body and soul. Just all you need to do right now is take care of you. Be doing your own processing. Try to, you know, process your emotions. Don't live in the negativity. Acknowledge it, but don't live there. Honor any memories that come up. Keep journaling. Keep, you know, moving your bodies, feeding yourselves well. I know it's been very, very easy to, you know, for comfort, want to eat a ton of junk food. And I understand <laughs> food is my vice uh, or chocolate. You don't want to eat a bunch of chocolate or whatever. But all you got to do is just keep, keep, keep it lifted up. All right. Process, but keep it lifted. Keep that energy lifted. Does that make sense? I hope that doesn't sound contradictory. I have this camera that just stops automatically for no reason. I don't know. If you guys know how the Canon ADD works and why it keeps splitting the files and why it keeps stopping, let me know. Thanks. So anyway, just take very good care of yourselves. There's a lot that's going to be happening this week. Let's talk about, I'm sorry, it's going to be a long video again. Let's talk about the world. There's going to be things the bracelet was there <laughs> and to move things the world is going to be shifting and opening and cracking open and um we're already starting to see earthquakes so people are reporting you know what's interesting i have not been hearing about earthquakes or the earth heating up except from you guys 
who live in these regions. And there you're like, no, we had an earthquake in LA. You know, there was an earthquake in Greece. Um, volcanoes, you guys are always, you know, reporting back on what's going on where you live. And thank you for that. Because for some reason, I didn't hear about it otherwise. Um, and I'm not really one of those people who buries my head in the sand about things. So interesting, right? So those kinds of things are gonna keep coming, but um, they, they just keep saying that the earth is heating up. We've already had uh, wildfires here. They're, I think they're grass fires, but which isn't unusual for Colorado, but still we all wanna be very, very mindful of that. And um, it, it's not gonna be the same. It's not going to be the same. As this world kind of cracks open, you might feel because, you know, when you, when you get so controlled and so brainwashed for the longest, you still have that kind of imprinted that you have to have this certain kind of structure as dictated by, I'll let you fill in the blank, um, as dictated to you before. And now that that's going away, there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period of us finding our own power again. And people might still be in that conditioning where it's like controlling other people means that you are powerful, right? It's like saying a real man is one who's super domineering. No, a real man is someone who's balanced and has a good heart. Okay, that's a real man. Isn't that the sexiest? <laughs> a guy with a good heart, right? So, you know, these are the things that we're, we're going to have to go through some deconditioning and not hop back into the old way of things just because it feels uncomfortable. All right. So I hope that made sense. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.